Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Josh. Today we're going to be painting the inside of this garage. And uh, if you're wondering why this plywood's up here, it's because uh, it was cold and the drywall finishers need to get done. So we had to find a way to keep the uh, elements out and locked in. So we got uh, the heat on inside and it's actually warm out today. So if you're new to this channel and you want to follow along as I build this house, Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. So if you've been following along this long, you probably remember when everything was all just wooden studs behind me. So uh, now it's all done. We got the garage floor poured. So that was something else we had to fight with with the cold weather. And uh, the drywall finisher left his buckets right here in the center. So we got to move those. And since paint does uh, stick to concrete really well, I'm going to take a tarp and some plastic and put that down to cover up the floor so I don't get any paint on it. So I'm gonna do that first, and then after that, I'm gonna go through, I already got everything cut in with the primer and paint combo, that's what I'm using today by Valspar. And uh, I went through and painted these sill plates the other day. So I got a coat on them so I don't have to worry about uh, touching them with the roller and getting all dirty so I can get pretty close to the floor. So that's a big plus. I already got all the dust off the walls. And uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get the floor covered and get started. All right, what I'm going to do is take this tarp and just move it along as I paint the ceilings so that way it doesn't drip down on the concrete like I was saying. I was going to go ahead and tape these edges with plastic, but the reality is this garage isn't that huge and I'm not going to be in here that long doing this. so. I'm just gonna do it that way. So you'll wanna make sure you stir your paint really well before you paint. There's a lot of chemicals that need mixed up in the colors and everything, but this is just simple white. So I got my professional stir stick here. So the other day, someone asked me, why do you do all your own work or most of it when you build houses? Why don't you just get all your subs hired out and um, not do much of the actual physical labor and all this and that? Well, the truth is, you save so much by doing a lot of your own work when you build these houses. Whatever you have in material is pretty much how much you make off the house. For instance, if you have 100000 in material, most of the time you'll make about 100000 So that's why I'm an advocate to do a lot of your own work when you're starting out in this house building thing. So, you know, there's gonna be a point in my life where I will end up subbing a lot out and trying not to make so much off each house. But when it comes to that, I'll be working mainly off volume. So I'll have to do about two or three houses every year versus one, so that's fine. As you get older, maybe it's not a bad idea to let your joints heal up and take more vacations, you know? If you watch my other paint videos, I'm using the same product I used on the interior walls here. Um, it, this is Valspar Simplicity. This is the paint and primer mix. I know some people are like, oh man, you need to make sure you use primer first, but honestly, this covers so well. I think uh, that'd be just a waste of my time, to be honest with you. So this is a great product. I like using satin finish just because it's more durable to wipe down, especially in a garage when you have a lot of oils and stuff like that around, you can just wipe them off the wall easier than you can like flat or something like that. So that's what I'd recommend is get a satin finish. So this is the tray cover I used to paint the ceilings. I've washed it out really well. And to save money, I'm just gonna reuse it. And all this stuff is, uh, dried on there and it's not coming off. I scrubbed the heck out of it. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use that as my paint tray and I'll be using an 18 inch purdy roller. And this is the um, extension handle I'll be using. It's a six foot extension handle. And this is the roller holder I'll be using. It's made by purdy and it works well. The 18 inch roller brand I'm using, it's Purdy Golden Eagle, and it is the half inch nap. Let's get this paint rolling. So what I would recommend if you use the paint and primer combo is put your first coat on relatively thick, especially on new drywall, because it'll soak it up like no one's business. 
All right, guys, the lighting's kind of bad, so the picture's kind of dark, but uh, I'm here towards the end of the garage. I almost got it done, but right here, I'll show you. This plywood I had to put up to uh, block in the weather, it comes here to where I should be painting, if I can only make it to right there right now, I don't want to cut this plywood because I'm probably reuse it on a project. So I can only paint down to like right here, get the rolling behind. So once I got to put a 2x6 uh, board all around the edge here for the garage door. So I'll go through and uh, paint as close as I can. Then I'm going to paint those 2x6s and then uh, paint up to it after I install them, which I'm going to make a video on that tomorrow. All right, guys, I don't know how familiar you are with latex paint, but right here's the first coat. If you look here, see how splotchy the first coat kind of looks before it's dried. And I'm going to show you what it looks like after it's dried. Okay, so that first coat's dried all the way. As you can see with this latex, it's way less splotchy after it dries. I mean, that's pretty common knowledge, but if you haven't painted that much, you may not know that. Um, it's dark in here. The only thing I have lighting up the room is this little light and um, the sunlight coming in. It's actually brighter than the video looks because the uh, videos are always darker than what it actually is. So yeah, as you can see, it didn't turn out too bad. That satin gives it a nice sheen so it's uh, easy to wipe off and all that stuff. So tomorrow I'll be framing around the garage door opening. So you need something to anchor your garage door to. And that's what you gotta do is take two by sixes and go around the edges. And as you can see here, already got them pre-painted. So that way it's easier to paint now before you have a bunch of stuff in your way than it is after the garage door is up. So what I'll do tomorrow is I'll go ahead and cut these and put them around the door. I'll make a little simple video about that. It's really not that complicated, but some people may have no idea what to do there. But I'll sh if you see the garage door opening now, I'll take that plywood down and get it done. So I'll show you that tomorrow. And I will be back tomorrow with another video. Peace.